Independent journalist Fidel Merma has risked his life to document the devastating effects that the mining industry has had on his indigenous community in Peru. Fidel's fight is the subject of the short documentary entitled Wings of Dust, which is on the Academy Awards short list in the documentary short film category. Let's take a look at part of the trailer for the film, which is in Spanish with English subtitles. Cuando yo era niño, soñaba siempre volando. Cuando dormía, soñaba volar como un ave. Veía la hermosa naturaleza, pero nunca me imaginé que algún día podía terminarse toda esa belleza, toda esa naturaleza. Vengo trabajando más de 15 años como periodista independiente, visibilizando las grandes afectaciones de la actividad minera extractiva. Joining us now, journalist Vidal Merma, sitting alongside a translator. Also with us is the film's director, Giorgio Giotto, and co-executive producer, Benjamin Bratt, who actually has a personal connection to this. Benjamin, why don't we start with that? Tell us about this doc and also why you are, in, 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 a, in a way, personally connected to this issue. Yeah, good morning, Vika. Good morning. Um, yeah, so it's interesting because um, it, it would sort of be like a, a journalism student contacting you or Elise and saying, hey, I've written this great expose. Do you want to help me break the story? I, we were cold called, my producing partner, Alpita Patel, my brother and I, by this journalism student from NYU saying, hey, I won this, the gold medal of the Student Academy Awards and I have this film. Do you want to help me open it? And uh, so we were a little bit incredulous about it, but I watched the film and, of course, was immediately knocked out by the obvious talent. But to your question, my mother is from Peru. This is her mm. homeland. And my, my, my mother's mother was from the very region that Vidal is fighting for. Uh, and so I was deeply moved. And, um, you know, as, as, as the great uh, Toni Morrison once said, if you have power, then you have to help other people gain their power. And if you have, you know, if you have your freedom, you have to help other people be free. And so I thought it was my, kind of my moral duty to come mm -hmm. on board and help these guys release the picture. I love it. And Giorgio, I'm curious what you were aiming, as you were directing this uh, short documentary, what, what were you hoping that viewers would take away from, from all these images and the storytelling? Yes, I think I started with the idea that each of us, through media, through documentaries, we all have a duty, we all have uh, a really important message to share with our audience. In this case, with Vidal, this came really naturally because I discovered he has so much to teach us from his resilience, from his courage, and from simply the fact that he doesn't give up in front of this big monster, uh, which is you know, the mining company, or as we can call it, the modern colonization against uh, the indigenous community. So I was really, really inspired by him, and I had to tell the story. The same question uh, to journalist Fidel Merma. I, I'm wondering what inspired you to take on this project and what you are hoping viewers, what message you hope viewers will walk away <laughs> with after seeing it. ¿Qué fue lo que te inspiró a ti para ser parte de este, de este documental y qué es lo que esperas que todas las personas que están viendo puedan tener? ¿Cuál es el mensaje que esperas que ellos puedan tener? Eh, muchas gracias, eh, muy buenos días. Eh, eh, para mí es una gran oportunidad esta película, este documental, para visibilizar principalmente la lucha de mi pueblo, la lucha de los pueblos indígenas, eh, antes estaba solo eh, luchando, tratando de difundir. Uh, good morning and thank you so much for having me. This is a big opportunity for me because this is the moment that we are all seeing the fight that indigenous people were having for our land and I don't feel alone anymore. Mm. Giorgio, you went for two months and lived with Vidal 
uh, became roommates of sorts. So you understood the level of threat that he's under to pursue free speech and journalism in yeah. Peru. Could you talk about the stress that he operates under and some of the pressure that you observed simply because he's trying to tell the truth yes. about clean water and the environment in Peru? So what we know is that since Fidel started reporting against this human rights violation, he received a lot of threats, which are um, undirect threats, you know, unknown people that break in his house and steal his camera, or simply somebody that follows him or calls. Um, all of these elements put a lot of stress on his life every day, on him, on his family, on his kid. But the thing that really inspired me at the end of the day was observing how his positivity was drawing all the time. Vidal is a man that no matter how much he suffers, no matter how we could consider him defeated, he was always, he will always have the courage to go out there and keep telling his message. And he will always have the courage to help his son to see a different future where he can drink clean water finally from the river. This Elise, is Elise, can I add to, I think an important part of this story is that that Giorgio, as young as he is, he, he has the wisdom and the humanity to recognize that his story is as important as his. And so as the filmmaker, he gives Vidal agency to co-author his own story. And that's a mm. very powerful thing to do because for, for half a millennia, native people who are on the front lines of, of all environmental injustice, their narrative is pushed to the side, to the margins. And so he, here he is front and center with the help of his brother. They become brothers, to your point, after living together for two months. And I think that's a beautiful part of the story that we cannot miss out on. Wow. Thank the you. The documentary short is entitled Wings of Dust. Benjamin Bratt, Giorgio Giotto, and Vidal Merma, thank you so much for thank joining you. us, and thank you for this incredible piece of work.